Tom Bates has been an incredible mayor for Berkeley. Um, he's in his last year of his last term, which it makes me very sad. Um, the Ed Roberts campus is a collaborative effort that uh, took a lot of people to build. And one of the most important people was Tom. When we were looking at trying to close the gap on our funding, Tom was the person who stepped up and figured out how we could actually raise the rest of the money to build the building. And without Tom Bates, the Ed Roberts campus would not be here. Um, he's been a really great mayor. I've always wanted to do something important to honor him. So, unfortunately, the only thing I have right now is I have a t-shirt from him, for him. Um, which I don't think is quite, quite equals the honor that we should be giving him, but Mayor Bates. Thank you, Dimitri. That was really nice and really sweet of you to do this. I appreciate it. This is a, a wonderful t-shirt. I see some people with them on, so I'm, I will um, cherish this. I, I won't be long. I just wanted to say I'm so proud of what's happened here and what's happened in this community with, with the people who live in this community brought the whole issue of d disabled rights and the rights of people to actually be part of mainstream in society. Uh, I was very fortunate to have an opportunity to almost have a lifetime of public service and in that I was able to be in certain places at certain times to be able to help the movement and so I'm very happy about that. When I'm, was a member of the Board of Supervisors in 1972. I, uh, these guys came to see me in wheelchairs. Ed Roberts and a few other people came to see me, and uh, they said, "We want to live independently. We want to. We are not dis We are not handicapped. We are disabled." And that was a was an in interesting mind touch because everybody else you know talked about handicapped. No, no, we're not handicapped. We're not there with a hand and a cap. We're disabled people and we want to have the same right. So I was able to, to get them money for the Center for Independent Living. And then I went to the state legislature, I was very fortunate to do that. Um, and one of the bills that I carried was to take the, the idea of the Center for Independent Living in Berkeley and take it all over California and start it all over the, the uh, excuse me, which then of course went on to be all over the United States. But it was a great experience. Ed, Ed was my witness. And so at, at that time, he was a head of rehab in the California, state of California. So we would come to these committees, and Ed would roll in there, and you know, he'd be all ready to go, and he would be all primed to, to give our speeches and stuff. And we would get there, and the chairman would say, Mr. Bates, or he would say Assemblyman Bates in this case, Assemblyman Bates, you, you can talk, and you can have your witnesses, or you can just pass the bill right now. So I said, okay, we'd go for the past the bill right now. So Ed Roberts never testified in the entire ways that went through six committees, and it went just like that. People were really behind it. And then what happened was a terrible thing happened. Proposition 13 passed. Proposition 13 passed. So it was, you know, it's a, so we had $10 million that we were gonna give to the statewide, which at that time, you know, probably today has been like 100 million. And at that time, it just passed. So people were saying, you know, give the money back and do all this stuff. So we go to the, the assembly floor in the Senate and, and we bring it up and the bill goes through with overwhelming support, overwhelming support. So we actually funded the Centers for Independent Living when, when a time when everything else was being cut. So I was very proud about that. And then, you know, I'm just lucky to come here and be able to work on this and be able to make sure that Ed Roberts is memorized and memorialized and, you know, and it works. I'm so happy about this, this building because this building represents the movement. This building represents people who are changing and, and making a vibrant contribution to the disabled movement all over the United States and all over the world. So we're so lucky to have such great leaders in our community, and Dimitri is certainly one of those. So I'm very, very pleased to, I haven't had a chance to look at the, you know, have a chance to go inside and see the Memorial Disability Rights, so and I'm looking forward to that. So congratulations, you guys, another important thing. We do need to figure out where we can have this so people can have an opportunity to, to really see this and have an opportunity to, to really know more and more about disabled community. So thank you all, thank you. So I'd like to ask Kathy Martinez and Mayor Bates to come.